boats, 12 stopovers, 45,000 nautic miles in 10 minutes. The mode of the event is like that extreme because the boats in, uh, are going to be sailing uh, in places like the side of the ocean, uh, 40 knots of wind, uh, 5 meter waves. of the, uh, the extreme motto is very much in line with some of the networks we're rolling out today. Better connectivity to the boats and better video can get a lot of people closer to the action and this is a problem then in a lot of these environments is very hard to solve. So we're very happy to be part of that. Fluid mesh basically for three big things for us. Being able to broadcast uh, using the seven cameras from the boat for the live events, import races, uh, start of the leg, and the arrival show. Also, being able to do 3D video in social media and provide video feed uh, for the live event to the guest boats. We need to build you know, networks in a very short period of time in places where the infrastructure is not really helping us. The boats really don't have actually good connectivity. We only have to, we only can rely on satellite connection or 3G and LTE broadband. On the shore, we have a backbone links connecting these with different towers, where we have radios providing a signal over the ocean, and then of course we have radios installed on the boats, the VOR65, and on the gas boats. Uh, our technology, the MPLS technology, helps them uh, keeping that connectivity up even if the boats move around and jump from one access point to the next. Uh, the range that we can achieve uh, exceeds uh, three miles off the shore, uh, providing throughput enough to stream cameras, uh, seven cameras uh, of uh, every single uh, boat. We configured all radios using Racer, our tool, our cloud tool. Uh, you can put all the information in the cloud and then you can easily push a button and configure and push down the configuration to the devices. Uh, so this tool makes it extremely easy to provide uh, the right configuration to the teams all around the world. Uh, plus, uh, help us monitor the network and provide support to Volvo Ocean Race. We're seeing a very interesting trend in broadcasting in general where more and more of the transmission is moving to an IP-based network. We believe part of it is due to the fact that there is higher quality video being used from 4K now getting to 8K and so the bandwidth requirement go up. And also people try to put cameras in places where in the past it was barely impossible to do it. My favorite on the fluid mesh technology, uh, it's really good because it was the only product that we can rely for being able to do live broadcasting from the boats in a range of uh, five, six, seven kilometers. My feedback on the fluid mesh support uh, during the event is amazing because uh, every time that we have an issue, we could uh, contact them. Uh, we have an answer in less than 30 minutes.